Uh, my name is Robin Burchardt. I'm from Germany, from the University of Siegen, in the group of Christoph van Lahofen. And I am presenting WashSpot, which is a system for the real-time spotting and detection of enacted compulsive hand washing with variable devices. Obsessive compulsive disorder, for those who have not heard of it, is a uh, mental disease that leads to obsessive thoughts, which in turn lead to compulsive behavior. Um, this can include, for example, the irrational fear of contamination, which um, urges the, the patients uh, that suffer from it to frequent and intensive hand washing. Um, this frequent and intensive hand washing uh, is bad because it can lead to uh, skin diseases such as, for example, contact dermatitis as displayed on the right. One means of therapy for this is exposure and uh, response prevention therapy where the patient um, is supposed to suppress their urge and, for example, not wash their hands. Um, a therapist usually can aid with this um, in therapy sessions where um, they deliver interventions, as we've heard before. So um, uh, the idea for this paper was to automatically spot compulsive hand washing and to, in some ways, offer help in the treatment um, for example, by um, automatically in the future giving interventions from some kind of um, variable system or by simply aiding um, the therapy process by helping to um, record the occurrence of hand washes during the day in a diary-like recording. Um, for the detection of hand washing, different um, papers have been uh, released in the past. For example, um, sensors in the environment could be used like cameras or even smart soap dispensers, which um, just lock the events um, when people wash their hands. Um, but these sensors in the environment have the disadvantage that they're mostly stationary, so they would have to be placed at every sink that someone washes their hand at, hands at. Um, so we looked more into wearable system sensors, uh, which could be used for hand washing detection and especially um, maybe even uh, discriminating between compulsive hand washing and routine hand washing. And um, we found inertial measurement units, which uh, measure the motion of a wrist, for example. Um, then there's electromyography, or even sound, like done in the Apple Watch, uh, which is used to detect hand washing. And there's even capacitive smart rings that just detect when something is wet. Um, however, we decided that uh, for us, off-the-shelf smartwatches are easiest to, to deploy. They are easily available and easily progr programmable because they um, there are IDEs available to program them e very easily with um, graphical user interfaces, which can be used by, um, by non-expert users too. In order to train a machine learning model that detects hand washing, we first had to collect um, data. And uh, we chose a total of seven wrist motion data sets, um, three of which we recorded ourselves. The first data set um, contains hand washing and enacted compulsive hand washing. We did not have access to real OCD patients with um, with this hand washing disorder, but um, we in turn uh, instead we let them uh, let the participants of of the study wash their hands um, after a script that was supposed to resemble compulsive hand washing, and uh, this was done in uh, together with our colleagues from Basel, uh, who are psychologists experts, and they um, designed these scripts. And added to that, we have a second data set called Confound Wash, where we, um, where we recorded confounding activities, which were uh, supposed to, uh, to supposed to help the system discriminate from other repetitive hand, hand motions, which could resemble hand washing in the data, like brushing one's teeth or washing something or peeling a carrot, for example. And other than that, we included some extra data sets of other movements, um, like uh, all day recordings or recordings of movement um, from data sets that are available uh, publicly from literature. The idea of um, of using this data was then to split it into three second windows and feed it into a neural network. We used accelerometer and gyroscope data of, uh, as I said, uh, wrist-worn devices. Um, the models we looked at were in total six models, um, but the one that uh, was best and which I'm um, reporting here is DeepConf LSTM-A, which is um, a neural network with four convolutional layers, one LSTM layer, and an attention mechanism on the output of the LSTM layer. We trained this on PC and PyTorch with the Atom Optimizer, Early Stopping, Rectified Linear Units, and a class-weighted cross-entropy loss function in order to um, 
to uh, combat our Im imbalanced data set. The trained model was then transferred uh, to a smartwatch running Android and could be executed uh, using the Open Neural Network Exchange runtime. Um, for our results, we uh, achieved a mean F1 score in the theoretical evaluation of 0 0.692, which is okayish, it's not super high but not super low, but we did achieve high accuracies for our routine hand washing class HW and our enacted, enacted compulsive hand washing class HWC. For all the other activities in the null class, um, we had some problems because they were too often confused with hand washing. Luckily, mostly with routine hand washing, but also uh, in a kind of 20% were uh, confounded with the enacted compulsive hand washing, which would, if we were to send out notifications to a user on the smartwatch, be a false positive and could possibly be annoying. However, um, after transferring our model to the smartwatch, we did some testing with that, and we found out that the um, model can run on Android smartwatches in real time, so we were able to get um, some, uh, some detection out of that, and um, together with some en energy optimization by only running the model when activity was detected so that the forward pass, which takes a lot of energy, is not executed too often, the battery of this TicWatch E2, which is from 2019, was able to last more than eight hours. So uh, to summarize, we developed a system for spotting enacted compulsive hand washing in a user's daily routine, um, running on commercially available smartwatches and the application could be ins installed on any recent Android smartwatch with the, relative, uh, with the required sensors. This um, could be used in future for online feedback by sending out notification on the smartwatch and even providing a small questionnaire on the smartwatch. And the potential use we see for it is supplementing therapy of OCD patients. In the future, um, the data of real patients with cleanliness OCD will be, uh, will be collected and used to train um, an even uh, more, more qualified model that um, should tell us more about the real performance. And together with that model that will exist in the future, um, interventions could be designed hand-in-hand -hand with the expert psychologists. Thank you for your time. This is it from me.